yes. I, um, about six to eight months after my initial experience with God and, you know, reading the Bible and going to church and experiencing different things, I hooked up with some older friends, people that I hung out with, did partying with and stuff, and I ended up starting to get back into drugs and alcohol and the old life and, and um, started going to church a little bit less and a little bit less, and um, I ended up pregnant. And I thought, oh my gosh, I took my life back into my own hands and I'm all by myself and I'm pregnant. God, help me. Oh my gosh, I give my life back to you wholeheartedly. I don't ever want to go back to that life. Please, will you please, please take me back and just help me and help me raise my son. And I was ashamed to go back into the church as an unwed mother, but... I had to. I had no other choice. I knew what the alternative was, and it was, it's not good. It was, you know, so I was like, God, you have to help me, and he did. Mm -hmm. Did you find some people in the church that could walk with you and help you in that journey? I did. I have an amazing church family. Like, they just embraced me wholeheartedly, and they, they just mothered me and fathered me, and, and I just had so many mothers and fathers that just, loved on me unconditionally and just taught me about God's love and, and His mercy. And I mean, I have a 14-year-old child now who is not just healthy, but he's so talented and he's so beautiful and he's so gifted and he's just got the biggest heart and I'm just so unbelievably blessed. And I don't deserve, I don't deserve it one bit from my own doing from anything that I've done. And Patty, as we said earlier, your journey with God has taken many different turns and twists, and God has blessed your life with a precious son named Justin. Yes. And I think we're going to pull Justin. Justin didn't know this, but Justin, you were in the studio. Come on over here. He's a good-looking 14-year-old young man. Have a seat right next to your mom. And he Hi. sounds even better than he looks. He does. Can you Google this guy? <laughs> you can Google Justin. Patty, tell us a bit about what's happening now in Justin's life. This is hot off the presses. Yeah, actually, Justin is not just healthy like I pray, but like I said, he's really talented. Um, he's been putting up videos on YouTube, and he is now the number one most subscribed to musician in Canada on YouTube. On YouTube. And number 20th in the world. Musician in Canada. And we heard him sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. in the green room earlier. What just, a voice. I oh. would never believe could come out of And out a of voice that's caught the attention of some pretty high up people. Yeah, he was um, being courted by the different um, music labels. And uh, uh, I don't know if you know if Justin Timberlake and Usher were actually fighting over who could sign him. And really? so we just signed with the music label and we're moving in about a week to the U.S. So it's a big step, and uh, he's got a long journey and great plans. Congratulations, Justin and Patty, and keep this little family in your prayers as they now take this next step in the journey. If you want to hear Justin sing, just go onto YouTube and type in Justin singing. Justin singing, and you'll get to hear him. But keep praying for him as well as this new journey uh, is unfolding for them. Thank you what for being with us. Story. This is just so encouraging. Yeah, God can do anything. You see Patty, Justin's mom, talking about God's work in her heart. If you've seen a Justin Bieber concert, they're all up there with that heart. And what a story. Remarkable story. It really is. You know, Justin still says his, his favorite book is the Bible. Yeah, well, uh, it continues to be a God story. Well, it's a huge uh, university suddenly embracing. Now he's 16, right? And uh, his mom is uh, obviously uh, someone who's been won to faith by the Holy Spirit. We just trust that his life takes the shape that uh, the Lord wants it to take. Maybe you need. We talked about a movie called yeah, The Encounter. Yeah. That's the key. 